under material usage variance the formula is very simple standard price into standard quantity minus actual quantity material yield variance is equal to actual yield or actual output minus standard yield into standard cost per unit of the output material usage variance which is nothing but the material mix variance plus material yield variance 4960 into 20 99200 if you take the together total 4 lakh 96000 Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 5, session 12, fourth semester BCom, costing methods and technique. The chapter name is budgetary control and standard costing. So here in the last session, uh, the problem which is related to there is no mix of uh, material. So this one is actually to produce a final product, uh, we are mixing a material. Okay, for example, the standard mix of uh, uh, produce one product uh, is as follow to produce one specific product. Uh, so there are different combination of materials we are using. First one, the material A is given 60 unit. Uh, uh, rupees 15 per unit if you directly multiply they directly okay and the material b 80 units uh, at the rate of 20 per unit uh, 1600 we are getting okay and next to material c 100 units uh, at the rate of 25 per unit uh, rupees 2500 if you take the value the total is 5000 and if you take the total units uh, 240 so sometimes the problem directly they can give for the total otherwise we need to take the total so during the month april 100 units uh, actually produce so 100 units what you are producing which is nothing but your actual yield okay so output so and consumption are as follow the material a 640 at the rate of 1750 per unit if you multiply directly 1 lakh 12 thousand we are getting and next one the material b 9500 at the rate of 18 per unit if you multiply 1 lakh 71 thousand Okay, the material C, 8,700 at the rate of 27.50 per unit, if you multiply 2,39,000, 250 we are getting so the total amount uh, we are getting here 5 lakhs 22,250 the total uh, the materials what we are using un inputs 24,600 so they ask you to calculate all material variance all material uh, which is completely related to the material variance so the moving whatever the information uh, uh, they given so we need to write in the tabular format so just for material whatever the given material a material b material c so the same thing 6000 how we are getting so already clearly they told us 60 into 15 uh, so what we are getting the total so obviously uh, the information how we are getting 6000 because the 60 is given okay the 60 unit uh, because we are producing 100 units right so 100 into 60 if you multiply 6000 you are getting and the same thing the material uh, b uh, there is actually rate is given 80 unit is given we are producing for 100 units so we need to multiply for 100 units so we are getting 8000 and the material c uh, 10000 how we are getting that uh, rate is given here uh, the unit is specified 100 uh, 100 units so uh, we into 100 units multiply if you do so uh, 10,000 we are getting if you take together total 24,000 units which is coming under this standard quantity. So the rate also given in the question which is clearly specified 15, 20, 25 I have written 15, 20, 25. So just to multiply 6,000 uh, 6, into 15 we are getting 90,000. Uh, the standard quantity amount again okay. next again the 20 into 8000 if you multiply 160000 and 25 into 10000 if you multiply 250000 if you take the together total the standard under standard the value is 5 lakhs we are getting under standard the unit is 24000 we are getting so now we need to refer the data whatever which is uh, during the month 100 units which is completely related to actual so uh, again uh, the actual again the 100 we need to specify uh, so what is an actual yield the output is clearly specified in the question 100 unit so here uh, the 6400 which is given directly the unit 6400 9500 8700 i have written so as it is i have written okay 
So the total if you take together the 24,600 which is coming under the total actual quantity okay so the total actual quantity and the rate also clearly specified in the question uh, 17 rupee 50 paisa 18 and 27 point respected uh, material we need to multiply 17.50 uh, into 6400 if you multiply 1 lakh 12,000 we are getting again the second rate material B is given. Uh, 18 into 9500 if you multiply 1 lakh uh, 71000 you are getting last rate one is uh, 27.50 into 8700 if you multiply so 2 lakh 39250 if you take the together total value 5 lakh 22250 so once we calculated uh, so they ask you to find out the material cost under all material cost so we, material cost variance material price variance material uh, usage variance uh, even the material yield variance okay so here the material cost variance we know the formula the standard cost uh, which is uh, minus actual cost standard cost how we are getting standard quantity into standard rate so directly the standard quantity total we got 5 lakhs so directly we can write the amount uh, the actual cost value also calculated the total 5 lakhs to 22,550 obviously if you try to subtract uh, uh, because 5 lakhs which is less than the 5 lakhs 22,250 obviously the result is 22,250 which is coming under the negative okay from this uh, if you subtract uh, the sign is always negative so that's what we are writing a uh, adverb so moving for the material price variance uh, because we need to calculate uh, each and every material so material A, material B, material C, uh, we know the formula for material price variance, uh, actual quantity into standard price uh, minus actual price, okay, the uh, individually material price for the material A, so the re standard rate is given for the respected standard rate 15 is given, okay, so obviously we can write here the standard price is uh, 15 uh, minus actual price which is clearly specified 17.50 actual quantity respected quantity the actual quantity which is given 6400 okay so according to formula we if you must simplify we are getting say from this uh, if you try to 15 minus 17.50 obviously we are getting a negative minus uh, 2.50 into 6400 if you multiply so the answer is completely uh, adverse value 16000 is adverse okay so moving to the material b the standard price which is given in the question 20 okay actual price is given 18 so the actual quantity is 8000 they specify so obviously uh, 20 minus 18 uh, okay the quantity whatever which is given if we need to multiply so we are getting the 19000 which is favorable so the moving to the actual quantity here 9500 so how now moving to material c uh, the standard price is 25 actual price is 27500 the actual quantity for 8700 so 25 minus 27.50 actual quantity is 8700 if you multiply so obviously from this you are getting negative value or uh, minus 2.50 into 8700 if you multiply the answer is 21750 which is an adverse okay there are two adverse uh, so the favorable is 19 obviously we need to categorize uh, adverse value is more so the answer is after adjusting after subtracting favorable so the result we are getting uh, 18750 adverse because the adverse sign is more okay compared to the favorable so moving to the material usage variance under material usage variance the formula is very simple standard price uh, into standard quantity minus actual quantity now standard under material a the standard price which is given here uh, the standard price what we are giving the 15 the standard price 15 actual standard quantity which is given in the question we calculated uh, 6000 actual quantity 6400 so if you try to simplify from this we are getting adverse uh, uh, minus we are getting minus 400 into 15 if you multiply the answer is adverse uh, 6000 adverse okay so moving to the material usage variance for b standard quantity which is we calculated 8000 actual quantity is 9500 uh, the standard price which is uh, applicable for 20 rupees here yeah? 
so here uh, 8000 minus 9500 the standard price 20 okay from this we are getting minus 1500 into 20 if you multiply so 30000 which is an edwards result okay so moving to the material c variance uh, standard quantity 10000 actual quantity 8700 standard price 25000 so 10000 minus 7000 8700 into 25 multiply from this we are getting a positive 1300 into 25 multiply 20 to 32500 which is an favorable result so compare here the adverse we are getting 36000 here we are getting favorable only 32000 so which sign is more adverse sign is more obviously the adverse only the after registering 3500 we are getting an adverse uh, once we calculated for the material price value and material usage variance we need to do for the verification so material cost verification material cost variance is equal to material price variance plus material usage variance so just now we calculated material uh, cost material cost variance to so 22,250 we are getting so as it is I have copied for 22,250 adverse so under material price variance just now we calculated the difference we are getting 18,750 so which is an adverse I have written adverse okay the under material usage after adjusting we are getting an adverse result 3500 so obviously 3500 so if you try to add together so because adverse which is equal to adverse 22250 which is matching okay so moving to the material mix variance under material mix variance the simple formula to uh, under combination of material the standard price into revised standard quantity minus actual quantity so under uh, the formula whatever it's there see standard price into revised standard quantity minus actual quantity so we need to calculate the revised standard quantity for the individual product so the formula is very simple to revise standard quantity standard quantity of one material into total uh, actual quantity divided by sto total standard quantity once again the standard quantity of one material for example the material a a material b separately we need to do into total quantity actual quantity uh, divided by total standard quantity so material a revised standard quantity so here individual quantity of standard quantity of one material which is given in the question here uh, the standard quantity is 6000 okay the 6000 as it is i have written here uh, into uh, total actual quantity actual quantity we got uh, the total actual quantity here 24600 divided by uh, total standard quantity 24000 which is applicable for all the material okay so i have written here uh, into actual quantity divided by 24000 for applicable for everything ev all the material even the material uh, b standard quantity 8000 material c uh, standard quantity is 10000 i have written as it is okay uh, just to multiply we are getting the final revised standard quantity of a we are getting 6150 unit uh, under material uh, b st revised standard quantity 8200 because which is a common right so this one is common only for standard quantities only varied and the material uh, c is revised standard quantity uh, we are getting 10250 so we, once we get the material uh, revised standard quantity we need to do for the separator uh, so the according to this formula uh, now the standard price uh, material A, the standard price uh, into revised standard quantity just now we calculated and my respected actual quantity. So here the revised standard quantity of A, we got actually 6150 actual quantity uh, in the respected material which is uh, clearly specified uh, 6400 material b 9500 material c 8700 so according to the formula only we need to substitute okay so revised standard quantity minus actual quantity because the formula standard price which is given again we need to refer 15 20 25 for respected material so after subtracting we need to multiply so the answer we are getting from here uh, adverse okay obviously the answer if you multiply 3750 we are getting an adverse so moving for the standard uh, revised quantity for the material b uh, 8200 minus uh, okay actual quantity 9500 into standard price 20 which is there in the tabular format so the answer is from here we are getting an adverse obviously your answer also adverse only 26000 adverse 
So moving to the material C revised quantity 10,250 units minus actual quantity uh, 8,700. If you subtract the positive result we are getting. So if you multiply obviously your answer also favorable. Okay. So after adjusting. So the favorable here there are two adverse so only favorable. The answer is because we are getting here 38,750 is compared to the adverse if you take together. So favorable result only more. So after adjusting we are getting 9,000 which is a favorable. Okay, so moving to the material yield variance. So the material yield variance very simple formula actual yield which is nothing but your actual output. Actual output minus standard yield okay into standard cost per unit of the output. Once again material yield variance is equal to actual yield or actual output minus standard yield into standard cost per unit of the output. So here uh, standard yield how to find it's very simple standard yield actual yield which is a hundred is given in the question so divided by total standard quantity divided by total standard quantity or we can write actual yield into total actual quantity divided by total standard quantity so uh, in this format actual yield is 100 uh, actual output is 100 uh, and now total actual uh, quantity uh, we calculated uh, 24600 uh, if you multiply together divided by standard quantity total standard quantity 24000 so if you simplify we are getting actual yield is 102.5 so moving to the next one the standard cost uh, unit for output uh, very simple formula what we are doing so whatever the total calculate the total so we have to take here the total year 5 lakhs we are getting the total total cost divided by total standard cost so the obviously 5 lakhs divided by output what we are producing here 100 yield so obviously 5000 per unit we are getting so therefore the material yield variance the formula actual yield minus uh, standard yield into uh, standard yield we calculated using that formula C here the standard uh, material yield variance formula actual yield 100 uh, minus uh, standard yield uh, standard uh, yield how you can calculate uh, actual yield into total actual quantity divided by total standard quantity so per unit how we can actual yield uh, producing output is 100 uh, so into uh, total actual quantity total with the help of tabular format we got uh, 24,600. So multiply together divided by total standard quantity 24,000 which is there in the tabular format. So if you divide 102.5 uh, we are getting. So now what we can do we can apply this formula actual yield is 100 uh, standard yield just now we calculated 102.5. Okay, into 5000 the total standard what we are getting so we need to multiply 5000. So from this we are getting a minus 2.50 into 5000 because we calculated here 5000 per unit. So there is an adverse 12500. So now what uh, need to do we need to verify using a material usage variance. Material usage variance which is nothing but the material mix variance plus uh, material yield variance. So under material usage variance, we calculated 3500, we got in the 3500 we calculated. So uh, the same thing we are writing here, how we are getting some material mix, we are getting a 9000 favorable result after uh, taking the summation. Material yield, we got 12,500. If you try to adjust which sign is more, adverse sign is more, the result will be 3,500, which is equal to the material usage variance. Now, moving to the next question, okay. So, which is uh, the information regarding the consumption and the weekly wages, uh, rate of the labor force engaged on the job schedule to be completed in 60 weeks are as follows so which is nothing but the standard hours okay so which is given the set by the management so the additional information the types of labor okay again the we are finding a combinations of labor like skilled labor semi skilled labor and unskilled labor okay the standard information number of workers which is given weekly wages rate per hours also given standard rate is given now actual information number of workers also clearly specified weekly wage rate per hour so actual rate is also specified so moving to the the work is completed in 62 weeks so which is an actual works okay so 62 works is an actual hour so here 60 is an standard hours 
so calculate uh, labor cost variance uh, and labor rate variance and the labor efficiency variance and the labor mix variance so moving to whatever the information so we need to remember the given standard week is set by the management 60 actual week is 62 okay so what we are doing with the help of information we need to construct the table so uh, the category of workers i have specified here skilled semi skilled unskilled now first we need to find out under uh, standard we need to take the three columns one is uh, just for weeks uh, number of workers into number of weeks okay so under standard the rate also clearly specified in the question here the rate is uh, standard rate is given and the actual rate is given okay so here now whatever the information is given here the 660 week is set by the management okay now how many the skilled labor 75 75 into 60 if you multiply you're getting 4500 again semi skilled is 45 45 into 60 if you multiply 2700 uh, so which is nothing but the total times okay so next one uh, uh, 60 is there 60 into 6 standard uh, multiply 3600 so if you take together total is a uh, standard weeks is actually uh, 10800 the rate also have clearly specified with the help of question so what we need to do we need to multiply 4500 into 60 2 lakh 70 thousand and 40 into 2700 if you multiply 1 lakh 8 thousand and 30 into 36 uh, 3600 if you multiply 1 lakh 8 thousand if you take the together total 4 lakh 86 thousand we are getting so moving to the actual uh, so the number of workers also given 70 30 80 70 30 80 okay so uh, the actually week uh, 62 week no so we need to multiply so 70 into 62 if you multiply 4340 at the rate also clearly specified 70, 50, 20. As it is, I have written 70, 50, 20. So, again, next two workers, uh, uh, semi-skilled 30, 30 into 62, uh, 1860. And next one, uh, unskilled 80, 80 into 62, 4960. If you take the together total 11,160, we are getting the rate also clearly specified. One Now we need to multiply 4340 into 70, 3 lakhs, uh, 3,800, 1,860 into 50, 93,000, 4,960 into 20, 99,200. If you take the together total, 4,96,000. So once we construct the table, so we uh, what we need to do, we need to calculate the labor cost variance uh, using using the standard cost minus actual cost the standard cost we calculated just now 4 lakh 86 thousand directly with the help of tabular uh, we are just writing 4 lakh 80 thousand actual cost we calculated 4 thousand 96 thousand so which sign is more the sign is actually negative we are getting from this if you try to subtract the difference is the 10,000 which is nothing but your adverse we are getting okay so 4 lakh 86 thousand minus 4 lakh 96 thousand obviously we are getting a uh, adverse uh, result is a 10,000 so after getting the calculation tabular format uh, so we need to calculate labor rate variance uh, uh, the labor rate variance uh, how we are try to write the formula actual hours uh, into standard rate minus actual rate so in, in case of material price variance we are writing a actual quantity but in case labor cost uh, labor rate variance we are writing a at quantity place we are writing a hours so the here the sk skilled semi skilled unskilled uh, value is given the standard rate which is uh, given in the question uh, okay 60 rupees the 60 40 30 as it is i have written 60 40 30 okay now actual rate is which is given in the question 70 50 20 so i have written 70 50 20 now the actual hours how many actual hours is calculated we calculated actual hours of 4340 so after, now we need to multiply after subtracting we need to multiply so from here we are getting a negative so after uh, minus 10 into 4340 if you multiply the result is uh, adverse because negative 43400 which is a adverse result now under semi skilled labor 40 minus uh, uh, 50 the standard rate is given in the question 40 minus uh, actual rate 50 is given if you subtract the, again the minus 10 only we are getting the standard hours 1860 so if you try to multiply minus 10 into 1860 the answer is adverse so 18600 we are writing adverse so moving to the unskilled labor uh, the actually the standard rate which is given in the question 30 minus actual rate is 20 
So the actual hours, the respected actual hours is given 4960 have written. So from this we are getting a positive. So obviously 10 into 4960 if you multiply 49600 which is a favorable result. So here there are there is two adverse only one favorable. Okay, so which sign is more adding together we need to subtract the favorable the result will be uh, 12400 which is an adverse because the sign is more. So moving to the labor efficiency variance, the formula is very simple, standard rate uh, into standard hours minus actual rate. The standard rate skilled, uh, semi-skilled, uh, just now we calculate the standard rate which is the, whatever you say 60, 40, 30, our written 60, 40, 30. So under semi-skilled labor we are getting uh, standard hours we calculated 4500, uh, uh, under semi-skilled 2700, unskilled 3000. 600. Again, we need to refer this one also here 4340, 1860, now 4960. Okay, so uh, here the standard hours uh, just now we referred for the previous slide 4500 minus uh, actual hours. 4340 if you subtract together we are getting 160 which is a positive and the standard rate if you multiply uh, 9600 which is a favorable result uh, moving to the uh, semi skilled labor under standard hours uh, which is calculated uh, 2700 right so minus uh, actual hours uh, 1860 if you subtract the result is also positive 840 the standard rate uh, uh, 40 if you multiply 33,600 which is a favorable result. Unskilled labor, uh, the standard hours uh, 3,600, actual hours uh, 4,960. Okay, if you subtract the negative, we are getting minus uh, 1,360. Standard rate uh, 30 rupees, uh, 30 multiply 40,800 adverse. So the, there is a two favorable item, okay, only. So after adding together, favorable is more compared to adverse. Huh? So obviously your answer also favorable, 2400 is favorable. Now we need to verify here. Uh, under material cost variance, so just now we calculated a material cost variance, so 10,000 adverse we are getting, have copied for, okay, 10,000 adverse. Uh, material rate variance we got 12,400 uh, adverse. Uh, material uh, efficiency variance 2400 favorable. So now see the which sign is more here the 12400 minus 2400 the difference is 10,000 adverse which is equal okay. So moving to the next one the labor mix variance. Uh, labor mix variance the formula is the standard rate uh, into uh, revised standard hours minus actual hour. So in case here the revised standard quantity uh, which is applicable for the material, revised standard hours which is we consider for the labor right. So we need to calculate for the revised standard hours. Uh, uh, the formula is standard hours of grade. So there are three grade, uh, skilled labor, unskilled labor, okay, semi-skilled labor. So we need to classify according to. The formula is very simple here. Uh, standard hours per grade uh, into total actual hours uh, divided by total standard hours. Okay, so here uh, the standard uh, individual hours for which is a grade is given in the question. Uh, See, uh, 4500, 2700 and 3600. So the same thing we are writing 4500, 2700, 3600. Uh, into the actual, the respected, okay. So we need to refer the table, respected hours, what we are calculated, the total is here, actually 4,96,000. We have to refer for the expected uh, total quantity, what we are getting 10,800. So the total what we are getting here, the standard and here actual quantity, we need to consider this respected column only. So 11,160, we don't want to take for the cost because we are not doing a material cost, we are doing for the labor cost. So we need to take the labor total. So here the same thing, uh, uh, we are getting see 4,500 into uh, 11,160 from the actual total quantity, actual hours. Okay, the standard hours which is 10,800. So we need to take here 4,500 into 11 lakh 160. If you divide it by 10,800, if you do 4,635. And second one, semi skilled, the same 2,700 into total hours 11,160 divided by standard hours 
total 10,802,781. The same thing which is applicable for here. Finally, we are getting the 3,708. So once we calculated for the revised standard hours, what we can do? So we need to do for individual labors according to the standard formula. Standard rate we know uh, 60, 40, 30. And just now we calculated for the revise for the skilled, we got uh, 4,635. Okay, minus actual hours, which is calculated in the tabular format, it's there. See, if you try to subtract the difference, uh, what we are getting here, the 60 as it is, the positive sign is more 295 into 60. So, uh, 17,700, which is a favorable result. Now, moving to the semi skilled, uh, the standard rate we know 40. Uh, just now we calculated revised standard hours uh, 2,781 uh, minus uh, individual actual hours uh, 1,860. If you track the difference, we are getting positive sign 921 into standard rate uh, 36,840, which is a favorable result. And unskilled labor, the standard rate we know uh, 30. Uh, revised standard hours we calculated 3708 uh, minus actual hours uh, 4960 which is given in the question calculated. So if you take the difference we are getting a negative value 1252 into standard rate if you multiply 37560. So now we need to take there are two favorable results. So which sign is more? Okay, so the favorable sign uh, compared to adverse if you take together favorable total minus uh, adverse if you do 16980. Thank you.